hyper focus, we do things like this, where we'll get very into something, do a massive amount of work in one week, and then we'll crash and burn down here. We'll feel awful. We don't want to do that thing anymore. And we'll go somewhere back here. And you know, it kind of goes up and down. And sometimes it goes back up. Sometimes it doesn't go as low. We've kind of got this wave going on. Now, here's the problem. When you get to here, you feel like this is what you should do every single day. Like this is your baseline, right? And you, oh yeah, I've hit that here, I've hit that here. And then you look at down here and relatively speaking, when you're over here, even though this is a positive day, it doesn't feel as good as these massive peaks over here. And then when you're way down here, look how far away you are from your so-called potential, which you've identified sort of correctly based on your previous results. Even though I know this is the case with me and I know I can be logical, I know I can be rational about it, I still feel this way. I still feel this guilt about my bad days, about when I'm not as successful. So when I first started thinking about this, I was really concerned with how I could stay up here at these peaks, but it's like sprinting. Sure, if I measured my maximum speed, sprinting is the fastest I can go by foot, but there's so many reasons why that's not the optimal way to travel by foot. If you have an emergency, yeah, go ahead and sprint. But what I realized is we get up here because we get hyper-focused on things. And what's worked for me when I recognize that I'm starting to get hyper-focused is simply that instead of going into a full-blown sprint, even though I want to, I kind of get somewhere around here and I consciously stop for the day. And you're gonna say, how can you possibly stop if you're hyper-focused? Yeah, I know, that's pretty hard and it doesn't always work. But I realize that if I stop myself from hyper-focusing, I put my computer away before 2 a.m., you know, go to bed at the right times, despite how hard that is, I can kind of hover myself around here somewhere. And it's not perfect and it's always going to have these dips and ups and downs. But because I do this, I stay within this kind of new bounds over here somewhere rather than going up and down so often. This is like this highly theoretical paint drawing that I've put onto my screen. But this is exactly how it feels to me and what's worked for me. And if this makes any sense to you, please leave a comment because when I'm looking at this in front of me right now on, on my screen, it just looks like a bunch of squiggles.